What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today, I'm actually not bringing you guys a competitive gameplay. It may look like it, because it's 4v4 and it's domination on Strike Zone, but it's actually team tactical gameplay, and it is a near double Kim gameplay. Uh, you know, I, I did get really nervous right before the first one, and I played it a little bit slower, and um, then I died a couple times after I got it, and then I went on another 18 gun streak. Um, I wound up dropping a 50 bomb, which I think is pretty good considering it was a team tactical gameplay, so enjoy that. And also, afterwards, you know, I normally have everybody muted, but afterwards I was just kind of listening. I didn't say anything, but I just listened to everybody and I unmuted them all. And one of them is actually a GB player as well, so, you know, I, I, it wasn't against complete randoms. Maybe the other three, but at least the one wasn't a random, so, you know, that that's just... Throwing that out, throwing that out there real quick. But um, anyway, so the things that I'm gonna be talking about today are uh, just kind of the I'm, I'm gonna be talking about the DLC that came out. I'm gonna be talking about the updates and a review of the guns and maps, what I think of them and everything. Uh, so so yeah, so getting right into it, the first thing is that the league play kind of system is kind of out now. So all you have to do is go to clan versus clan playlist and then go to you know the objectives game mode or the TDM if you want and you, you can now go in by yourself or with small groups of people you don't have to have the full you know four people um, there's no ranking as far as I know maybe there is a ranking system but I haven't noticed it I played a few games earlier today um, and you know they have COD esports rules S&D domination things like that you don't get to pick which one exactly like you get to vote on the map but you know you don't get to choose like a domination only playlist or anything like that but uh yeah that that's one of the things next thing is that dead silence got a massive massive buff so i have astro a40s and you can have dead silence on and walk right next to me and i won't hear you uh that that's how buffed it is it is completely silent now as well as sliding if you have dead silence on sliding makes no noise so Dead Silence is kind of overpowered now, it seems like. Um, you know, it needed a buff, but it didn't need that much of a buff, because now sound oaring is a lot harder. Um, also, the sound levels for the bomb plant and diffuse seem to have decreased somewhat, because, um, you know, with Astros, you can still hear them. Like, I tested this with a fan earlier who was nice enough to help me out, and um, I actually don't remember his YouTube username right now, or I'd give him a little shout-out, but... Uh, he can he can put a comment down below and then I'll I'll thumb it up or or something. But uh, anyway, so yeah, he was helping me out and he has a slightly worse headset and he wasn't able to necessarily hear it from every sound whore position. You know, like on the map Sovereign, I know a lot of sound whore positions there, so we were testing them out and I could still hear them, but they seemed a little bit lower and there were some that he couldn't hear with a, a lower quality headset. So keep that in mind now. Another thing is that the bomb time plant and diffuse have improved and they're still the same technically of five seconds and 7.5 seconds however it now starts immediately when you press the x button so you don't have to wait for the bomb you don't have to wait to pick up the bomb and start pressing the numbers for the bar to start filling up so there's a couple things that this means number one i tested it you can literally pick up the bomb at 7.5 seconds and get the diffuse um, I think I actually picked it up at 7.6, but I'm not entirely sure, but it was it was right around there. So you can, you can pick it up, um, so don't worry about that now. Also, it means that by the time that you make a sound for picking up or diffusing the bomb, the bar is, you know, getting close to like a quarter to halfway full already. And that, that kind of means that it's harder for people to sound whore you now as far as when they hear it because it may be too late if their sound whore position is too far away so you got to keep that in mind um and yeah also don't check the bomb as soon as you normally would now like if you're um on offense you plant the bomb and you're in like a 1v1 and you're waiting for the defending last person to try and go for the defuse don't poke out at nine seconds because he could get the kill and still get the diffuse. You need to wait, so just just be careful with that. Um, all right, so getting into the the maps now, the new maps. So I'm gonna start with the ones I didn't like, and I'll give a few reasons why. So the first one was the map fog. I didn't like this one as far as how it played. I loved the feel of it. I loved the the textures and the design and everything. And there's a ton of Easter eggs, and I don't know any of them at all. 
Um, I know there's a lot of horror movie references in it as well, though, so that's that's pretty cool. And the new Michael Myers feature on this map is really awesome. Um, I haven't gotten to play as Michael Myers yet, but I have seen him, and I've seen gameplay of him, and I actually killed Michael Myers. He's not invincible. I know some people said he was, but he isn't. Um, I killed him in about a clip and a half. I don't know if he had been previously damaged. Um, me and him were alone at that time, and he was coming at me, and I managed to, to kill him. So, you know, uh, he's definitely not invincible. He's got a lot of health, though. But, uh, yeah, so... The, the, the Basically, the reason I didn't like it was because the map is so huge, and it's so good for campers, because it's really hard to see people on that map. And, I don't know, maybe some people will like it, but I, I personally didn't like it. It was just... I, I just kept getting killed from behind, from, from people camping in some random corner, or getting killed from, you know, some of the tunnels and stuff, but... I don't really know the map, so maybe with a little more time it might be more playable, but uh, I just didn't like it as much. The next map I didn't like was Ignition, and I, I just didn't like this map. It was really, you know, straightforward and everything, and I'm pretty sure this is the remake map from, like, an MW2 map. Um, I never played MW2, so I don't know it at all. <laughs> so, you know, maybe just everybody else knows how to play the map, and I just don't know how, and maybe that's why I didn't like it, but it seemed too straightforward. Seemed like there were too many sniping spots and everything. I, I just didn't like it. I just kept getting sniped off the spawn and everything. Um, next map is Containment, and I really liked this map. Uh, this was actually my favorite one out of the four multiplayer maps. And I, I really, really liked it for Domination. I got really close to dropping a Kim on that as well on my first time playing it. I believe I got on in 18, 18 20-something, right around there on, on a kill streak. And then I died, and then I went on a 15 kill streak after that. I remember the second one was 15. I just don't remember exactly the first one. But um, yeah, so I got close a couple times there, and it was it was really fun. Uh, the map's pretty big, but it, it seemed you know playable. It it seemed like it would work. Uh, the spawns made sense. It was you know it, it was just a good map. Next one is Bayview, and I only played this one one time, so I can't say too much about it. But from what I saw, it looked like a pretty cool map. It was you know, nice scenery and everything, and it seems straightforward and fairly simple to play. Uh, the lanes made sense and everything, so that's what I have to say about that. Next thing is the DLC weapons. So the new AR is, um, it's a pretty good gun. I prefer to use it around medium range. It seems really powerful close to medium, and then its power seems to drop off long range. It kind of feels like an, um, an SMG AR hybrid kind of, uh, in my opinion. Uh, iron sights are fine. I usually use a grip and a silencer with it. And then the sniper. Um, it seems to be a pretty good sniper. It's got that built-in tracker sight. So, uh, you know, I got killed several times by it, and I used it briefly. So it, it, it seems like a, a, a decent gun. And uh, I should say, after all of that, is my opinion is that I don't think that the... Um, the DLC weapons or maps are going to be allowed into competitive. I know a lot of people were hoping for it because we kind of need some more maps for for modes such as Blitz. But uh, it just doesn't seem like it's going to work. The maps seem too big or not as well designed for competitive. So I, I don't think it will. And the weapons, of course, the sniper has to be banned because as that built-in tracker site kind of thing. And, um, you know, the... Well, I guess you could just ban from using that. You have to use a different site or something. I, I don't know, but uh, the AR-2, I, d I don't see it really being... I mean, maybe it could be allowed. It doesn't seem that overpowered, but I don't think people would really use it. So, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, last thing is the extinction map called Nightfall. Um, I haven't played it yet. I haven't had time, but I'm thinking about doing a gameplay with it with uh, a couple people, maybe from the team or maybe by myself, maybe some fans. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If you guys want to see that, let me know, and I'll I'll get to recording that with some with somebody. Um, but yeah, from what I've seen from it, I've seen a few gameplays briefly. I haven't seen an entire playthrough. I've seen like I, I skipped to like midway and just kind of saw and see what happens on some gameplays from some bigger YouTubers. It seems like fun, uh, just something to mess around with maybe. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, last little thing is it snowed in Texas today. This has nothing to do with Call of Duty, but it snowed slash sleeted, and I'm in South Texas, and it was sleeting. So of course my family had off school, and I'm not in school right now. I'm transitioning into online school, but um, 
yeah, it was it was sleeting. I woke up and go outside real quick, and on the back patio there were some chairs and everything. There was just little piles of sleet built up on them. It was really cool. So, uh, so yeah, school was canceled, of course, because in Texas, uh, schools cancel very, very easily with snow-related weather because we don't have snow tires and we don't know how to drive in snowy weather. So, yeah, that's just kind of what, what happened. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe if you didn't. Then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.